Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to share a video from you that uh, the Grafted In Team Jesus team put together after I left last night. I had to get off. I was just so tired. I usually leave about 9 o'clock. That's pretty normal for me. But anyway, I don't exactly remember how she said it, but one of them, uh, I think they found this video from a dar. If you watch a Dar Gabriel, they share it in here, and that uh, has something to do with it. The title is Jupiter Saturn Conjunction. People were calling the Star of Bethlehem, and I knew that was wrong. I just knew it in my spirit. It represents the birth of the Antichrist, okay? And the it's when Jupiter and Venus are in conjunction, which happened like four or five years ago. Somebody could research it and pull it up. It hadn't been that long, and that's the one that has didn't happen for like eight eight hundred years. Or no, they said it hadn't happened since Jesus was born. So um, that was the Star of Bethlehem. Okay, this is, this represents the birth of the Antichrist because Saturn is representative of Satan. And they show a video where somebody at some observatory filmed the, now they weren't in conjunction, but you can see Saturn over on the right and all the rings around it. It's beautiful. And then you can see Jupiter uh, with its, um, how did she describe it as being so vivid? It was almost cartoonish. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it either. But um, it's something I that you might want to know. Uh, it's just another sign. She well, she calls it. Um, she titled it Jupiter and Saturn conjunction represents birth of the Antichrist. Here we go, guys. It's here. Okay. Now, if you know your word, you know that. Um, well, the way. I have shown it in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, is that, um, well, let me just pull it up. Let me just pull it up. Second Thessalonians, two, there it is, it's right on top, 2, 3. All right, now, this is the chapter, now I'm going to pull that into NASB. Okay. It's talking about the man of lawlessness, all right? All right, I'll just start at verse 1. Now, we request you, brethren, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him. He's actually talking to those, the majority, the multitude too large to number. And here's, keep listening that you not be quickly shaken from your composure or be disturbed either by a spirit or a message or a letter as if from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. See, the day of the Lord doesn't come until the sixth seal. What else happens at the sixth seal? After the great earthquake, and they all go running into their dumbs, the caves, and as John describes it, rocks fall on us. And the next thing you know, it's chapter 7. That's chapter 6 of Revelation. Chapter 7, you see the, the one group of 144,000 are sealed, and then the multitude too large to number appear in heaven. All right. But now verse 3 says, Let no one in any way deceive you, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first, and the man of and 
the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. That's how this, the, I think King James says the son of perdition. At any rate, that apostasy is not a, as in a falling away from the faith. That's what the footnote says. This is the snatching away of the bride. And it's not a large amount, but it is all the children. There are hundred, It's 144,000. There's two groups of them. And you can see that in Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. Um, well, that was the verse I was led to first when I got that word from the Lord about two raptures. Well, anyway, um, verse 4 says, uh, talking about the son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship so that he takes his seat in the temple of God displaying himself as being God. Okay, so this is see, this the way it sounds it's like, okay, the bride is snatched Antichrist is revealed and he takes his seat in the temple. Well, it's going to take him coming on the scene to get that temple built in order for him to get the seat of it. Right now, the temples are our bodies. Know ye not that our bodies are the temple of the Lord? For he does not dwell in buildings made by human hands. So that's why this, um, thing that they have said they want the army to help with, passing it out and giving it to people, um, is gonna, hmm. Well, let's just say it, it, it could mess with your VMAP2 gene, the God gene, okay? And it's going to sit in your temple, and he'll be as God in your temple. That's why God will no longer want you. Do you understand? And then you get the mark which proves you got it. That's the thing that's like the smallpox, sort of, except it's like on the size of a postage stamp. And for those of you who don't yet know about that, um, there are many videos on Grafted In Team Jesus' website. I'll find the link to that. She sent it to me. I'm going to put that link in the description box for anybody that wants to learn more about this subject that I'm talking about. However, having said that, we also know that the, the One World Trade Center is the third temple. They've actually been doing sacrifices in it. It's the Jews who say they are Jews and are not. So why are they bothering to even do sacrifices? I don't know. I, I have no idea, but I will link that video as well. Because I, I have to be careful uh, what I share now, you know. So, uh, but that will interest anybody who doesn't understand how the One World Trade Center could be the third temple. There are a lot of Jews over here in America. They escaped Europe, came here. They're the ones who made themselves rich. They're smart people. Smart in the money business. And that video is fascinating. Now, it was made in 2019 back when they were partnered up with Minister Paul. Whether you like him or not, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, he's had his problems, but he's had his really great 
months, years also. I used to watch them all the time. Okay, so that is why they are on a call together making this video. It's a little hard to hear because she's playing parts of her video. When she's talking, it's clear, and when she's playing the video, it's not as clear. So you're going to want to not have a lot of background noise or use earplugs, okay? It, it is audible. You can't understand it. It's just a little bit difficult. So I'm going to link, uh, <clears throat> what did I say now? Let me write it down. All right. Video on Third Temple. Um, this one about the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction. And I'll listen to it as it's uploading. And if there was another one, I'll link it too. Because it seems like there was a third one. Okay. See, I forget just that quick. I have to write everything down. So, anyway, I'm going to end it at that. This is some very important information. And, oh, I'm going to get you the link to their website. So you can get the, oh, the information on the postage stamp sized part two of the um, the medicine they want to help you get so you won't get COVID, okay? So I'm going to just put link to website. You just scroll down a little bit and you'll see several videos you might be very interested in. Okay. With that, I will say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over each and every one of us, over all our devices and our internet connections. Okay. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.